And coral plays a role in the air we breathe, the fish we eat, and even our state's tourism, of course. But a changing environment is making their homes uninhabitable. It's why scientists from the Florida Aquarium are trying to change the coral in an effort to save it. So here we have our coral systems. Rachel Morgan is working her dream job. I always dreamed as a kid to be a marine biologist, and then it, it worked. But her dream job lately means navigating a scientific nightmare. We may not see the returns for years or decades, but if we don't change now, it's going to take centuries. Inside the Coral Conservation Center in Apollo Beach, scientists from the Florida Aquarium are protecting, researching, and spawning 18 different coral species. The goal would be that corals are sustaining themselves on the reefs, and that's what they're not doing now. Coral can be hundreds of years old, but Florida reefs have lost 99% of the coral they had in the 1970s because of warmer waters caused by climate change. A major concern for scientists trying to save what they can. So if it stays warm for the rest of the summer and we lose most of what we have, it's like losing everything. Changing the ocean isn't realistic. Uh, what's happened is, is gonna continue to happen if we don't curb the effects that we can. So they've rescued coral from the Florida Keys and preserved it in this lab to give it the care it needs to survive into the future. But the hope is the new genetic individuals are going to be able to keep up with that change and make a difference. For Morgan, it's a version of her dream job she wishes she didn't have to do. Hopefully one day they make it back to the ocean. That's not happening next year or the year after, but hopefully we'll get to that point. The center's been operating for about 10 years now, but only recently have those warmer ocean waters started to get more attention. Our climate specialist, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Berardelli, is here tonight. And Jeff, we've been talking about this for a while. You've been warning about this for quite some time, and now I think it's starting to get people's attention. Pretty alarming. Yeah, so back in the 1980s, water temperatures were around 84. That was the average temperature. In just the past four decades, water temperatures have risen three extra degrees because of climate change alone, bringing the average summer water temperature to 87 degrees. Inevitably, every few seasons, you're gonna get an odd and unusual weather pattern like we have this year. On top of that, that has pushed water temperatures to around 90, 91 degrees. The bottom line, taking what could have been a modest coral bleaching event and making it a life or death situation for Keys Coral. And this does impact so many people, whether they know it or not. I was stunned today to realize how much coral affects so many parts of our environment. Yeah, I mean, 25% of marine life live on a coral reef or depend on a coral reef at some part of their life. And so if you destroy the coral reefs, it's a domino effect yeah. for marine ecosystems. Yeah, a lot to unpack about this. Jeff will do that tomorrow at 1 p.m. for his weekly show, Climate Classroom. You can watch the stream on WFLA.com and on our Facebook page. Keith.